Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So this problem right here could be an FE problem or a breadth problem if you're taking the PE exam. Uh, here's what the question says. A 70-pound block is on a 32-degree incline plane. Uh, if the friction factor is 0.62, solve the force needed to push the block up the incline plane at a constant velocity. So here are four options available to us. And so uh, if we're looking for some reading material in the FE manual, the FE reference handbook, uh, we're going to be in version 10.2. That's the latest and greatest at the, the time of this video. We're going to be in the statics section, so statics, and that's going to be on page 110. All right. And then if we're taking the PE exam, we need to be looking in uh, version 1.2. That is uh, for the April 2023 and on. So that's good. That's the version we need to use for this one. Uh, we're going to be in 1.5.8. Uh, friction is the, the name of that chapter there or section, I guess. Uh, and that's going to be on page 22. Okay. So Go ahead and pull those up, and uh, when you do, you're going to find that a formula looks a little bit like this. F is less than or equal to mu static uh, times the normal force. So this F right here is actually the force of friction. Don't get that confused with the sort of applied force. Um, the mu is the uh, coefficient of friction, so the friction factor, 0.62, that's given to us, and then the N is the normal force. So if we're going to kind of break this problem out, uh, basically what we're looking at is we sort of have this 70 pounds acting straight down because it's gravity, right? So that's 70 pounds. Uh, and then we also have this normal force which acts perpendicular to the surface that the force is being applied. So this is the normal force, right? Uh, we have this applied force, and again, don't get this confused. We'll call this capital F. Don't get that confused with the formula that we just did. Uh, and then we have this sort of friction that's acting against our applied force. Okay, so that's that. All right, so um, I guess if we wanted to, this right here, we're going to call this one the lowercase f. Okay, so not get that confused. From here on out, we're going to call this the lowercase f. The formula or the manual calls it a capital F, but I am calling our applied force that we're solving for that is going to be our capital F. The sort of cursive F is going to be our friction force from now on, just a FYI. So we need to solve for the normal force for this guy. That, that's the first step for that. And the way that we're going to do this is uh, sort of draw a, um, a free body diagram of what we're looking at. I'll go ahead and draw that out here over to the side. Uh, we have this sort of plane here, and then we have uh, 70, 70 pounds acting straight down, and then... That's a pound, that's LB. Uh, and then we have this normal force acting perpendicular, and this angle right here is actually 32. So I'd encourage you, if you don't understand why that is the way that it is, I would encourage you to uh, go ahead and check on your uh, trigonometry and understand the rules behind that. This right here is 32 degrees, okay? Uh, so what we can do to solve for the normal force is essentially just do the W, which is this uh, 70 pounds, and we're going to multiply that by the cosine. So remember your Sokotoa, or Sokotoa, however you pronounce it. Uh, and so our normal force is going to be this W times our cosine. So 70 pounds times the cosine of, uh, let's see, 32 degrees. All right, and so when you do that, you end up with a normal force of 59.3634. And that's pounds, which makes sense, right? Uh, and so what we need to do is we need to plug that into our friction uh, formula that we had. So uh, the force of friction is less than or equal to mu, which is 0 0.62. That's given to us in the problem there. We need to multiply that by the normal force that we just solved for, so 59.3634. That's in pounds. And so when we solve for this guy, you end up with the friction uh, on this block is going to be 36.8053. Uh, Notice that they actually give us an answer. They give us 37 pounds, but that's not necessarily the force that we need to apply to this block. We also need to include the weight of the block, right? And so here's where our sign is going to kick in. We need to solve for the force of the block, okay? And so we that's going to be equal to the 70 pounds 
times that sine of 32. Okay, so now we're solving for this guy. So uh, we are acting against the friction factor and we're also acting against this sort of block trying to push against us. Okay, so that, that's where that's coming from. Uh, and when we solve for this, this actually ends up being 37.09, uh, sorry, yeah, 094 pounds. And so what we need to do is we need to solve for the total force. So that is the force of friction plus the force of the block. Okay, so hopefully that kind of makes sense there. And this actually ends up being 73.90 pounds. And notice they give you 74. So they give you a most nearly answer here. And uh, and so they kind of round it up. So the answer is going to be C on this one. I hope it clears some things up. I hope it makes sense. We'll catch you next time.